know? Yeah. Was that kind of just a show of support for your guys? And yeah, I mean, I'm part of the team. You know, we're, we're a team. And, and uh, you know, whether I'm out there on the field playing or, you know, sitting up there, I got to support the team. And, and you know, <laughs> this is... This was a frustrating game personally for me and obviously for the team because we had them on their heels all first half. This was the best game we've played all year. And, uh, you know, I don't think we deserve to lose a game, but some calls went against us and, and, and they made some big plays as well. The goalkeeper made some big plays to, to deny us some goals as well. The video replays didn't show too much contact, but did they, they contact your knee or no, leg? No, it wasn't, it wasn't, listen, it wasn't a foul or anything, but in that instant, you know, I'm not just trying to bait the ref in the corner. I already got a yellow card. I'm not going to go out there and be stupid and, 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 and try and die. Without, you know, I was just bracing myself to get hit, you know. And, and, you know, he stuck his foot out, but he didn't get me. But I didn't stay down and complain for a call or anything like that. I was just trying to get right back over the play. But it just he blew the whistle. But everything happened so fast. And he just decided, you know what, you tried to bait me, I'm going to give him another. You know? In my opinion, if a player's already on a yellow card and something like that happens, I think you get a warning. You know, you, you do it again, you're set off. Play and simple. But, but hey, I'm not a referee. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a player. So, you know, the, the, the call went against me. It went against our team. And I'm, I'm pretty dis disappointed that we lost this game. Honestly, this, this is one game that I thought we really were going to win. So you did feel like it was a little unjust, maybe? I wouldn't, I mean, it's a 50-50 call, you know, it, it can go either way, so, you know, it just went against us, you know, I'm not going to dwell on her. It's very close to you being touched. Exactly. I mean, it didn't mess up by a whole thing. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I was just, just bracing myself, like I said, and like I said, you know, this game's a game of inches, man. Uh, some days, you know, certain times, you know, that can make a difference, and today it did, and, and, and uh, we had to play the whole second half and man down, but we played great. I mean, uh, we played great. We, we, this was, uh, I was so proud, like, just, just just being out there in the field and, and also even watching in the second half. I was just so proud of our team. And, you know, we never stopped fighting. I mean, even being a man down, we created a lot of chances. This looked like your best half. Yeah, I mean, I, I had the freedom, you know, before the game period told me I had the freedom to, 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 to move everywhere, move inside, just, just be unpredictable. And, you know, I, I didn't feel like I was I was uh, kind of cornered to one side of the field. I was just moving everywhere, and, and that's always been my my you know my favorite way to play, whereby I'm not restricted to just one side, but being able to float everywhere and being involved all the time. And today, you know, we we had chances, we had chances, and and you know, I think the floodgates are going to start opening up, um, you know, for our team. Even with the red cards, this performance something you look forward to building on. Sure, of course, of course. You know, you always want to build on, on, on your performance. You know, in Seattle, you know, you know, the team we didn't play great, obviously, uh, but there was also some some, some good individual stuff there, uh, and and you know, you just you just build on it. You know, I mean, today, I mean, I. I it's bittersweet, I guess, you know, put it that way. But I want to take the positives out of today and, and just build on it for sure. You, Mel, you mentioned uh, feeling no restrictions today. Is that something that is different than before? Were you restricted at any point? Well, it's not like it's restricted. It's just that, you know, when, when we have a, a lineup out there and, and, you know, Peter kept telling me that I have a tendency when he puts me out on the wing to kind of hang out, like, on the wing. He wants me, and today he really reiterated that, he wants me to just don't just think about playing over there. You have the freedom to go anywhere because we have Michael Farfan on the right, uh, right back. He's a more attack-minded player, so he's going to basically push up and then you come inside and be a second playmaker. And that's how it was all game. And it worked great for us, you know, up until the red card, obviously. How did you feel working with Pahoy today? It was great. I mean, his, his movement was great. But Danny Mwanga, I'll tell you what, Danny Mwanga made a huge difference today because he made it a lot easier for Pahoy and myself to, to, to have the freedom to roam around and also coming in and supporting them and, and, and you know just battling the defenders, you know, turning, going at them, sucking everybody to them, laying balls off. I mean he was he was great today and, and he made it I think he made it a lot easier for Roy and myself today. And then regarding the fan base, the you know, basically the adoration you got after you went off, what that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. You know, I, I I gave it everything I had when I was out there, you know, and and, and I know that
that's what they expect every time. That's what the fans want. And uh, and like I said, that's something that you know, uh, me personally, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know look to build on. And that's something that that our team's gonna is gonna look to build on. But when you have a fan support like that, you know they appreciate what you do for the team. It makes you feel good. It makes you want to go out there and just kill yourself for the team. So that's something that I'm gonna look to do, man. Thanks, Freddie. Yeah.